In this video, you will learn how to find and navigate within the weather tool with the tight ecotect and to create a baseline for optima optimal orientation and the right passive strategy for your design project. And again, you will learn to get some very nice graphs on climate data for evaluating your specific microclimate. With inside the Ecotech environment, we can go to Tools and we can run the Weather Tool. The Weather Tool allows us to convert weather file to the WEA format to that we can use in Ecotech, and we can use the Weather Tool to set a bi baseline under our project, deciding which kind of strategies will be an orientation will be most effective. So the first thing we will notice is to see that our latitude, longitude, time zone, altitude and sky luminance is updated. So let's take a look at the next tab here, the stereographic diagram or the sun path diagram where we are able to set the sun position throughout the year. In this case, a specific weather file from Copenhagen, Denmark. And of course, this will vary from whatever kind of position or location you have with your project. So this tool really helps you to understand different locations throughout the world and determine which kind of orientation and passive strategy will be appropriate for the project. So what we're looking for here is that up here we have north, south, east and west. And here we have a very conceptual mass that we can use for determine how much solar radiation will hit this conceptual mass here. And we are able to drag or to scroll for a specific time we want to look at. So if we go here to solar radiation, you'll see that based on the orientation, it will now be displayed how much energy this conceptual mass will gather throughout the year based on its orientation. So if we go back here and we turn it off, we can now see the orientation of the mass. So what we want to do now is that we want to hit best orientation to get a sense of how we should orientate our building based on the coldest and hottest months of the year. So let's just hit this. So in the hottest summer month, shown in red, you want to protect the building from overheating and in the coldest month, you want to capture as much sun as you can. So really, here, the optimal orientation is usually a, a compromise, which is displayed here with the yellow arrow here. In Denmark, a good strategy is normally to capture as much sun, so a south orientation will be in many cases the most optimal orientation for buildings here. And then in the hot afternoon sun we usually want to turn away to to avoid too much too many overheated periods in the afternoon. So let's go to then to the psychrometric charge. You can see that from the weather file we have these data dots displayed which are displaying the time ranges where we will be inside the comfort zone because of cyclic variations in the climate. And we have the slider to choose which kind of activity level that we have inside to see when we can use passive strategies. So what we can do here, we can go to passive design analysis and we can combine different kinds of an passive techniques to see can be applied to the project. So we can change the hours of operation. Let's take the weekend off. So this is telling us where within inside a year we can have an effect of applying these different techniques. We are also able to just look at one technique at the time, passive solar heating, to see that passive solar heating might be one of the techniques that we should look at. We can then go back to the psychrometric charge. We can go up here and we can change the way that we look at the data to see the monthly ranges. And we can set the, the activity level to secondary or low, maybe an office building. And we can then go in to overlay passive solar heating to see how the activity level and glazing radio will expand the area 
or time where we can use passive solar heating effectively. So this is quite helpful for determining blazing radius in relation to insulation and effectiveness uh, with inside the building. Again, we can overlay multiple techniques here to look at all the different techniques. And you'll see that it's difficult to apply some of these techniques in this specific microclimate. Let's pull in Las Vegas to see the difference. Here you'll see that we are able to use many of these different techniques on different times of year. We are also able to look at which kind of cooling strategies will be appropriate. Here we can see that for this month it could be an idea to look at ventilation or apparative ventilation or for Denmark we would we might would look at ventilating or air conditioning our our building. In the next tab here we can go to the wind analysis and we can go in to look at the summer. We can overlay and see the relation between temperature, etc. We can show comparison of the different things and we can go to the hourly data to look at to search for the hottest day or the brightest day, something that we might want to use in another simulation in Radiant to look at how is the design condition on in relation to visual comfort when inside a space, etc. We can go to the weekly data and here we have some really cool graphs that we can look at and on different ways, front view, perspective, and we can change the way that we look at them at different ways. So pretty cool. And again we can look at rainfall and look at the specific data or update missing data that we might want to change with inside the weather tool.